Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Friday, March 29th. It is the 89th day of the year. There are 277 days left. Happy National Smoke and Mirrors Day. National Smoke and Mirrors Day on March 29th is intended to both promote the appreciation of the art and skill of magicians who specialize in illusions and to remind us all to be wary of people that practice deceptive practices in daily life. Today, smoke and mirrors usually means that we're being hoodwinked into believing something is true or functional when it really isn't. It's a reminder that unlike Dorothy, we shouldn't wait until the end to pull back the curtain to see what we thought is real versus actually a masterful fakery. Skill, secrecy, and deception have been driving the practice of the magical arts for centuries. Archaeologists have found the cup and ball trick depicted on the wall of an Egyptian tomb. The classic technique of smoke and mirrors was used in the 1770s in Germany. Johann George Schrapfer manipulated these elements to make it appear that an entity was hovering in the air. He relied on a magic lantern, a primitive precursor to the slide projector, which paired a concave mirror with convex lenses and a candle for illumination to create the images. Every town used to have a magic shop where kids bought their starter tricks and learned to develop some manual dexterity. It's never too late to learn. Most of the shops are gone, but you can go online and watch a video to learn the spoon bending trick or other classics. Practice some magic today and don't forget, share it with your friends. The more you practice, the better the sleight of hand gets. Today is also Good Friday, Mermaid Day, National Lemon Chiffon Cake Day, and National Mom and Pop Business Owners Day. Okay, National Dayers, today we're going to do a science experiment, a sinking smoke paper tube. Gather the following supplies. You'll need paper, a candle or a lighter, a fork, a glass, and help from an adult. And again, you have to have help from an adult on this one please do not do this without adult supervision. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna roll up your paper until it makes a nice tight roll and you wanna make sure that the paper is a spiral inside of the tube. And then I cut mine down to about three inches long. Then you're gonna take that paper tube and you're gonna insert it at a 45 degree angle between the tines of a fork and balance the fork on top of a glass. Now again, this is where the adult help comes in. You're going to use the lighter to light the top of the paper tube. You wanna do this in a space where you don't have a bunch of stuff around it. And then watch as the smoke sinks rather than rises, because usually smoke floats because it's connected with hot air. But the spiral inside of the paper is cooling the air so quickly that the smoke sinks down instead of rising with the heat that's coming from the fire. That is so cool looking. Now for safety, you're going to take that paper tube and you're going to dunk it in a glass of water to make sure that the fire is completely out. And you have just created a really cool science experiment. Well done, National Dayers. All right, National Dayers, we've got Commando the Magnificent in here. He won't wear his top hat. I don't know. I guess he's not in the mood today. But he told me that he wants to practice some smoke and mirrors today, and he has a special trick cooked up for you guys. Not sure what it is, so let's see. Keep smiling, have a fabulous Friday, and I will see you next week. Bye. Wait, what? Mom! It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Our shout outs today start us off with Ms. Riley and everyone in the high school program at Pleasure Ridge Park High School in Louisville, Kentucky. Next up is Ms. Koval and Mrs. Golden and everyone in the high school transition program at Highland High School in Medina, Ohio. 
Third up today is Mrs. B, Mrs. S, and Mr. Lee, and everyone in the class 403, grades 3 and 4, at PSIS 266 School in Queens, New York. And our fourth shout out today goes out to Mr. Ellsworth, Ms. Dina, Mr. Patrick, and Mr. Jeremy, and everyone in the REACH classroom at Kevin O'Grady School in Beverly, Massachusetts. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Teachers, our shout out form is currently closed due to popularity, which is amazing. Thank you for watching and I will keep you posted when we're taking more shout out requests. And here it is, your updated, super spectacular shout out map.